Hey, and welcome back for episode two. It's good to have you guys back here. We're going over all the commands and general information of the Grand Theft Badger server and how you can utilize it to enhance your gameplay experience. I'm your host, Willie Bryan, and uh, let's get started. Right, so first and foremost, you need to understand the map and the general layout of things. So on my keyboard, I'm gonna press the P button, which is your normal GTA map command. And it's going to open up to our map. We can take a look around and we can see we've got an index over here that shows us all the various things. But let's get into some detail of what they are. Now starting from the top, we've got the bank. Now the bank is where you would go to, say, take a loan or to mess with your money. So at any point in time, we can actually look and see what we've got. If we want, we can start by hitting T to open our chat command over there. And then we can type slash toggle. UI, all one word, hit enter. And you notice it didn't do anything. Well, we gotta do it again. Little shortcut, if you hit the T command to open chat, and then you press the up arrow on your keyboard, it's gonna go to the first previous command that you've entered. So for us, that's toggle UI. We'll hit it again and we can see information pops up there on the right hand side. We can see our cash in pocket. Currently I have 67,845. Then we can see any black money we have on us, which might be appropriated through illegal means. And then we can see at the very far right how much money we have in the bank. So with that, if we wanted to put more or less money in our pocket, we could go up to the bank and do so. We could talk to one of the bank tellers and potentially see about pulling a loan, you know, to go buy a car or to help start our business or something along those lines. You get the idea. You know, your imagination is the limit. Next, we've got ammunitions. We have nine of them on the map. Uh, for those that possess a valid firearms permit, this would be where you go to purchase a firearm. Uh, as well as for those who don't possess a firearm permit, there are plenty of melee weapons you could buy there. Or you could risk it for a biscuit, you know, and potentially have issues with law enforcement and just go buy a firearm anyways. Uh, barber shops, we can go to to change our appearance. If you're going to change your character's haircut or facial hair or anything like that, I'd strongly recommend doing so at the barber shop. Boat garage, pretty self-explanatory. If we own a boat, the important part is we have to be able to own it. You can go ahead and uh, actually park your boats in a garage and they'll be persistent that way. Uh, the boat shop is where we can buy a boat. Car dealership, again, pretty self-explanatory. It's the car dealership. You can go there, you can buy cars. Car wash, you can wash your cars at these. Clothing shops, there's 14 of those around town. Same thing, you can go there to uh, buy clothes. Uh, about the only purpose for them. Uh, the cab company, uh, that's if you're like a cabbie, that's where you're going to be going to pick up your, your taxi cabs. But uh, for the most part, not a whole lot going on over there. Driving school, now this is kind of important. This is where you're going to go to get your driver's license. It's important you have a license um and that you notify staff of your license that way you can be legal to drive would get it put into the database and you'd be good uh drug dealer no idea what you know that's for not even gonna pretend to know sounds like something illegal but not really sure gas stations these are littered throughout the maps and they're pretty self-explanatory that's where you're gonna go to put gas in your car hospital if you get injured or something you can come over here have one of the emts take a look at you job center now this is probably where most of you guys are going to need to start off but that's where we're going to get our first job los santos customs these are scattered throughout the map there's a couple of them um, this is where you're going to go to both repair your car as well as at the los santos customs that's where you're going to go to upgrade your cars uh mask shops you can buy masks there uh mechanics there's two of them the white ones are places where you can fix your car. The yellow one is where the main mechanics work out of. So if there's a mechanic online, that's where they're going to be. Police station, if you need to file a police report or you need police to get involved with the situation, you can either text them on your phone or you can go to the police station and actually page them from the front desk. Uh, properties for sale, these are littered all throughout the map. That's Properties that you could buy to say store cars at store stuff in you know, the list is kind of long and endless Real estate agents um, if we have any on that's where they work out of Shop robberies um, 
it, it sounds like an illegal activity. I'm not really sure. I can't say I've tried it, but uh, I would imagine those are shops that are robbable. Um, speaking of shops, there's plenty of them throughout the map. They sell all kinds of different goods, and bear in mind, not all of the shops sell the same thing. Uh, weed fields, I'm not really sure. Weed processing, same thing. You guys will just have to experiment with that. But, uh, yeah, so that's most of your general markers on the map. Now, if you will, follow me along. We'll uh, find our way over to the job center. We'll show you what's going on there. All right, so now that we found ourselves over to the job center, what we can do is we can actually walk in. We see that little purple circle on the floor. We can uh, run over to it, stand on it. And it's going to prompt us to press E to access the job center. So we press E. We've got this neat little list that pops up there on the top left side that covers all of the jobs we want. You can see we've got plenty of jobs here. We've got banker, fueler, lumberjack, mechanic, miner, journalist, taxi, and a tailor. Now at the very bottom we see unemployed. I'm going to tell you guys right now there's no reason to pick unemployed. It doesn't pay much. I think it's like $200 every tick. It's, it's jack shit. You know, I would recommend going with any number of jobs here. Now, it is important to notice that some of these are what I would consider society jobs. So they pay a flat salary, but it's not very good. Um, and they are dependent upon other players to make money. Others on this list don't pay a salary, but require you to run around and, and do some work. So like a banker is considered a, you know, a society job. Other players have to come to the bank. They take loans. You make money off the interest, but you also get paid a flat salary. Mechanic same idea you make a flat salary but then it's also upon you to proactively seek out services you know have players that have damaged vehicles come to you to get them repaired a journalist is kind of a weird one it does pay a flat salary but it's not very good um but it is what you make of it if you want more information on the journalist i would recommend seeking out the assistance of staff um, to figure out where to go from there Taxi as well, it pays a flat salary, but just like a mechanic, it's not a very good salary uh, because most of your money should be coming from other players that actually want to ride. With that said, you can pick any job on this list, and there's a couple of jobs that aren't on this list that are still available. You remember we talked about real estate agents. Obviously, there's law enforcement, there's ambulance, and I think there's even fire department, but I'm not sure. So if you're looking for one of those jobs, well, you need to be established on the server. You need to have good rapport. Um, you can contact staff and see about picking up a whitelisted job. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and just grab a random job. Uh, we'll utilize this in one of our next episodes, and we'll go around and we'll actually work that job. But I think for demonstration, we're going to go ahead and choose minor. And we took the minor job. You can see it says in the top right, it says minor intern. Uh, so I think that's going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. Uh, on our next one, we're going to go over a lot of the server commands um, and then kind of figure things up from there. So I look forward to seeing you guys next time. See you.